Let me say something about the Baroness. Nika, she was a wonderful lady. She was absolutely devoted to the great musicians that she knew. The testament to how important a human being she was to the jazz community is, is found in the fact that the greatest jazz musicians in the world wrote compositions for her. The Baroness was uh, the, the granddaughter of Baron Rothschild. And she came to America in about 1955, 1956. Became very close friends with my father, along with Art Blakey, Teddy Wilson, Gigi Grice, and a number of, a number of great musicians. Good evening, everybody. This is Nika's Tempo. And tonight, we are coming to you direct from the Five Spot Cafe. And that beautiful music you hear is coming from Thelonious Monk and his quartet. These shelves, unfortunately, tend to break the spines of the records, so you can't easily read them. These are all Monk records I'm going through, every single one. And that's the one with Pannonica on it, isn't it? This is really one of the great dedication pieces. This is a very major composition specifically created to celebrate the individual as opposed to hey we just did a blues ad-libbed in the studio uh, let's name it for our friend it's really one of the great great jazz dedication pieces as substantial as anything Let's create a quiz about Nika. How many cats did Nika own? I think it was 306. Which legendary jazz musician died in Nika's apartment? Charlie Parker. What did Nika serve from a teapot? Scotch. When she was a child, who taught Nika magic tricks? Einstein. She had the Bentley, which has become famous. She was a hell of a driver. You know, she had been an ambulance driver for the Free French in uh, Algiers during World War II. When we got the Mary Lou Williams collection at the Institute, she and Mary were great friends. There are letters that Nika wrote to Mary, and she had the most beautiful handwriting, but she also put little decorations in different colors on top of the first page of the letter, and the way the envelopes. Mary was a saver, she saved it. That's another story. But anyway, Nika, she was a dear person, and she cared so much for the people that she was really friendly with. Coleman Hawkins, for one, I mean, that's one place where I was pretty close. So I knew how much she looked out for Hawkins uh, when he was on his decline there. She was a terrific lady. Hi, everybody. Very glad to be here today. I would like to play a little tune I just composed not so long ago, uh, entitled Pannonica. It was named after this beautiful lady here. Merci beaucoup. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Thelonious Monk. 